Hi, my name is Steve Houston. Welcome to my channel where I discuss all things related to financial services, their products, the compensation plans, the IMO comparisons, the IMOs themselves, and the standard we set is we always provide third-party documentation when it's available and when it matters so you can decide what's the best option for you. This week, it is actually New Year's Eve, uh, the last day of 2018. Tomorrow is 2019. We're going to celebrate the incoming new year uh, this evening. And I want to get in front of the camera here real quick and send you out a short message because this Friday I'm starting a new series and this is the teaser video for it. It's called Success Habits That Work. And this is going to be a seven week series minimum. It could actually go 10 weeks because I don't want to have real long videos. I want it to be short to the point you can follow along with your worksheet. But I believe it's critical to your long-term success in mortgage section and final expense to fix six, six inches between your ears. It's not all about product knowledge. How can I say that? Simple, because it's about you growing and developing in personal development. Change your mindset, change your life. So this week, we're gonna start the new series on success habits that work. This is a course that I went through many years ago and I wanna share it with you so come along for the journey. It's a very short video message just to get it out because there's some steps you need to do if you want to participate. But if you apply these habits in anything you do, not just mortgage station and final expense, if you apply these habits in anything you do, it will pay dividends on your success levels. Now, there are, like I said, handouts. So in order for me to get them to you, here's what I need you to do. I need you to click the link in the description and put your name and email address. That's it, no phone numbers. I'm not gonna contact you. It's simply so that I can email you the handouts for each video each week. You'll get them on your email. So, so this really is a launch video. So if you have not watched the other videos, I recommend you go back and watch them so they have the biggest impact by applying the principles taught and do them in order. So we're gonna start off with one principle today and that is motivation is what gets you started habits is what keeps you going. So ask yourself, are you passionately committed to learning the habits of the most successful people in the world? Are you passionately committed to learning the habits of the most successful people in this industry? Do I have your permission to expect your very best efforts? This is exactly what I asked my agents to commit to in this program, and I'm asking you to do the same. So congratulations for taking the time to watch this video series. So listen, Happy New Year. Have a safe and happy celebration tonight. And thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I believe that this is your first step to success in mortgage session and finance business and really any other business that you decide to pursue. It starts with you and personal development. Since the space between your ears, you heard me say it, several times is the best investment you can ever make. And without growing personally, you set yourself up for failure. So again, congratulations on making the commitment to develop the one common denominator that separates successful people from the unsuccessful people, and it's their daily habits. It is my desire to teach you what I learned many years ago and to help you face the things that are keeping you stuck and create the life of your dreams. Look, many people believe that there's some secret to success and that success is only for the privileged few. Others think that success or failure is based on your race, your skin color, your age, your nationality, your level of education, your family heritage, where you live, what school you attended, your natural born talent, and my favorite, the year and the month that you were born. History proves that all these things are false. The one common factor, the secret ingredient I'm going to share with you right now on this video, and that's this. And this secret ingredient holds the key to every person that has reached success, and it lies in the fact that he or she formed the habit of doing the things that unsuccessful people simply were not willing to do. It is as true as it sounds and as simple as it seems. You can look deep in the lives of every successful person and find one common character trait, and that is they commit to forming the right daily habits. This explains why some people who are highly qualified for success can fail in our business, while others with apparent handicaps achieve far more, right? Simply put, for you to succeed, you must be willing to do the things that the unsuccessful people are unwilling to do. It is key for you to understand from the start 
that these things that unsuccessful do not like to do are the same things you and I don't like to do. The difference is successful people do not ask themselves, do I want to do this? They simply go out there and do it. The minority that are willing to push through and develop these daily disciplines do the things feel unnatural or uncomfortable at first and they feel alone. They alone become the privileged few who enjoy a dream lifestyle of freedom that many people sit back and wonder, why them, not me? It is imperative that you take responsibility for your success by understanding that the realization of your dreams is a byproduct of you. It is you that must choose to do the right activities regardless of how you feel on a daily basis. Let me close with this. I know that you can do this if you commit no matter what and you believe in yourself. Come along with me and take the chance, take the risk, put it all on the line and start believing in yourself. And I pray that God will guide you to your greatness and build you up to reach that potential. So let's begin this journey together. Okay, so as we wrap this thing up, you heard me talk many times about how important it is to control that six inches between your ears. And the way to do that is through personal development. And you all should begin a reading program and read 30 minutes a day. Commit with me to do that in 2019 and to grow ourselves throughout 2019. I believe a thousand percent that your business will grow right along with your own personal development. As you grow yourself, so does your business. Look, we all make time for what's important to us. Make your time, your future, your prosperity important to you. Much more important than the eight hours you give your boss who doesn't care about your future for one second. Remember, the reason why your bosses and their families are having those great Christmases and taking those fantastic vacations and has that incredible work-life balance is because you gave up that for your family so that he could have it. Look, right. controversial as it may seem, when you sell your time, you sell yourself for that particular time in exchange for a paycheck. Right? And we, we all do it at certain times of our life. It doesn't have to be your whole life. Look, you sell yourself your time for eight hours a day to that job, which is only building their lifestyles. Remember, you either build your own dreams, you end up building theirs. Again, that's a personal choice all of us are allowed to make. So as I close this video and we launch into this seven to 10 week series on success habits that work, I wanna give you a set of books to put on your reading list. The Amazon links are in the description, so here they are. I talked about this book before. This is You Inc. by Burke Hedges. Discover the CEO within yourself. It will help you to develop the necessary business mindset that you have to have in any business, not just in mortgage station and final expense. How I Raised Myself from Failure to Success by Frank Betker. If you haven't read this, it's got to be on your reading list if you're gonna be in the insurance business. You can't steal second with your foot on first. Why you should choose to become independent in a job dependent world. Fantastic book if you're gonna be out there in the streets, kneecap and kneecap in people's homes, is How to Have Confidence and Power in Dealing with People by Les Giblin. And then you've got to put this on your book list. Og Mandita, one of my favorite authors of my entire life, The Greatest Miracle in the World. Get it and read it. And that way you're preparing the mind, bread for the head, as we move forward over the next seven to 10 weeks in this series. Now look, I know you didn't come here for personal development. And you didn't come here for my motivation. I think it's critical that we deal with a mindset while we're dealing with the know-hows of the business. See you on Friday. Happy New Year.